Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Well, that was great. <laughs> um, so, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Justin Clark. Uh, I've had the great opportunity to have a lot of discussions with many of you, and I look forward to getting to know the rest of you. Uh, so, to kind of tell you my story, we got to kind of start a little bit further back with the beginning. Um, my parents, John and Lori, uh, are from very different places. Uh, my dad is from Hillsdale, New Jersey. It's about 25 minutes from New York City. So I got to grow up visiting family there and going to the city. Uh, my mom, however, is from Carpio, North Dakota, which is about 25 minutes from Minot, North Dakota. So a little bit different. Um, there's a really easy way to explain how they met. Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> which is not necessarily near either of them, but they, they happened to both move there uh, in their 20s, met each other, luckily fell for each other, because then I got to show up a couple years later. Um, they moved uh, back to New York, and uh, I was born in Kingston, New York, uh, which is an hour up the river from New York City. Uh, many people don't know, Kingston is the first capital of the state of New York, so it's a fun fact for you about Kingston, because that and that I was born there is probably all you need to know. <laughs> um, I lived there for about three years and then we moved to, to Florida. Uh, that's where I spent most of my life in Florida. Um, I have one sister, her name is Jamie. She was born in 1996. Um, she's my only, only sibling. Um, and then through elementary school, I went to a private school in, uh, in Kissimmee, Florida, which is just south of Orlando. And that's where I really got to establish a lot of the friendships that I, I have hold, hold dear today and a lot of uh, the influence that I had throughout my life. Um, as I got older, I continued to, I played sports and I was very involved. I played soccer, basketball, baseball. I mean, if you name it, I probably, probably competed in it. I was on the swim team, I was on the golf team, I ran track, kind, kind of did everything. And then I got to high school and I decided I wasn't busy enough. So I became class president and I was on our uh, school news and just kept finding different projects and different things for me to do. Um, at that time, that's kind of when I had a little influence uh, through, through my friends that I had from private school when I was younger and I ended up joining the youth group with our local church. Um, through that youth group, I had the opportunity to go on four different mission trips. Um, and when a lot of people think of a mission trip, they think of things around the world and countries in Central America or places like that. Uh, there's a lot going on in our country that needs help too. So all four of my mission trips were actually domestic. I've been uh, done a project in Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, um, and North Carolina. So done different work in each of those places. And that was something that was really eye-opening for me. Um, it was one of my first times really getting to, to give back and, and use some of the skills that I had to kind of help others. Um, also early in my high school career, uh, we had a, a, a series of hurricanes that pretty much devastated many parts of Florida. Uh, my mom took me and we went to uh, help out with the Red Cross and hand out meals to families. And that was another, one of those first opportunities, right? You know, we were just handing food to people, but to see these people who didn't have homes anymore and to be able to help like that was really, really eye-opening to me and really made me enjoy giving back. Um, I ended up getting involved with a, an organization called Give Kids the World. Um, for any of you that don't know that, Give Kids the World is an organization and a, a location uh, in Central Florida, in Kissimmee, Florida, where <coughs> kids that have terminal diseases come with their families, and they come and they stay for a week, and they get to stay at this basically resort type place. There's free ice cream, there's wheelchair accessible trains and rides, wheelchair accessible uh, pools for them to swim in and all that, uh, all those great things. And then they get to go to Disney, they get to go to Universal, and it gives them a chance to have an opportunity uh, to have those lasting memories and have a lot of their families to have those lasting memories when they do uh, do pass on in the, in the coming years. Uh, so a lot of that work really kind of helped uh, ground me and helped me kind of realize that I was fortunate. Um, we'll come back to Orlando in a little bit. Uh, let's go on to college. Uh, so I started my collegiate career at North Dakota State University. Woo! <laughs> yeah, go, go Bison. <laughs> Yeah. I was there for one semester because it was that great. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I, I did enjoy my time in North Dakota, and the reason I do mention that is for any of you who your question is going to be, have I experienced a winter? So yes, yes I have. Um, did, did spend some time up in Fargo. 
Uh, but as an 18 year old living in Fargo, just coming from Orlando, it was really small and it wasn't necessarily uh, for, for me. Um, so I went back uh, to Florida. I ended up moving up to Tallahassee, Florida, um, living with uh, my friend Laser. He eventually became my best man. His name is actually Laser. His middle name is Ray, his name is Laser Ray. Um, it's, it's, yeah, you, you can't make that up. Um, so uh, I, I moved up uh, with my buddy Laser to Tallahassee, Florida. Um, living in Tallahassee was a great opportunity for me. Um, I didn't want to live with my parents anymore and I, I ended up working my way through school. Um, I worked the night shift at Denny's, and let me tell you, if you can work the night shift at Denny's, you can, you can handle just about anything. Um, I worked in warehouses, I was a server at a couple other establishments, I worked um, doing maintenance on a golf course for a little while, getting up at 4 a.m. to go set the holes, um, and eventually I was able to get a job in video production, uh, which is something that I had some history with, and something that I really enjoyed doing. I got to do that up at the state capitol, so I got to work with a lot of uh, state legislature, uh, a lot of state legislature, and as well as uh, different committee members and lobbyists from around the state. So it was really a, a great opportunity for me. Um, I ended up transferring to Florida State where I got, uh, started my degree in political science. Uh, about halfway through I realized there's no jobs in political science. So uh, I still got that degree but I, I also started taking other classes where I got degrees in public administration and urban and regional planning. Um, after that I went with my same friend uh, Laser and we went on a 50-day road trip around the country. Um, everyone told me, you know, get a job, get a job, you shouldn't do that. And then I got back and everyone's like, I wish I would have done that, it's the greatest thing you've ever done. Um, but we went from Florida to San Diego, up to Seattle to New York and back. Um, we actually did that from January to March, so right in the middle of winter. And the only place we got snowed in and hit ice was Flagstaff, Arizona. So, what do you know? Um, when I got back from that 50 day road trip, I decided that if I don't propose to my long term girlfriend, she probably was going to leave me because she let me leave for 50 days. <laughs> so I, I ended up proposing to her. Um, we got married uh, a little over a year ago um, and she's awesome and, and helps me get through my day. She's a social worker for Fairview here and, and she does a job that I could, I could just never do. Um, after you know, I got back, I proposed and I got, uh, got a job working for Florida State University. Um, while well, I was working for the university, they offered some free courses uh, while you're working there, and I decided it would be dumb to not take free courses. So I ended up going to grad school, which is something I never thought I would do. If you asked any of my friends, they'd tell you I would be the last one to have a, a higher degree and be married at my age, but here we are. Um, I ended up getting a master's degree in public interest communications with a concentration in public policy. Um, and so with that, the communications element really started coming out. Uh, when my buddy and I had gone on our road trip, when we traveled the country, it was a great experience, and we'd really gotten to understand the country. We'd really got to understand the, the people and how everybody is a little bit different, the accent's different, the politics might be different, but it's, it's really all the same type of people. Everybody's, you go to the bar, you see the same guys trying to pick up the same girls. You go to the grocery <laughs> store, so you see the same people trying to check out and can't figure out how to work the scanner. It's the exact same people. Uh, but one of the other things that we noticed was that there were all these small businesses that didn't necessarily understand that an online presence was important for them, whether it be social media, their website, creating videos and things like that. Uh, so my buddy Laser and I created a business called What's Next Media Group, uh, where we specialize in helping small businesses. Uh, so uh, that was something that we, we really started doing while I was in grad school and we continue to do it to this day. Uh, it's one of my side jobs that I continue to do. Um, when I finished grad school, I transitioned back to Orlando, Florida, uh, where I was headhunted to become a public information officer for major highway projects. Uh, so I did that, and I was the, the voice of the highway projects in Central Florida, which was interesting. Everyone has an opinion. Um, so that was fun. Uh, but it was really at that time, and it had been growing on us, that we didn't want to stay in Florida. So my wife and I kind of looked at the map and said, where do you want to live? You know, where do you want to live? And having experienced Minneapolis growing up, going to see family in North Dakota, it was a place that I, I truly enjoyed. Um, it was on my list of places to move. And then my wife, her family, both of her parents were born in the Iron Range. So she kind of had experience, uh, experiences here in the city as well. So it was a place that was both on both of our lists, so we just kind of picked up and moved. Um, now I told you I'd kind of mention Orlando uh, again. Uh, one of the, the benefits of, work, of living in Orlando is hospitality is just all around you. Even if you don't work in it, it just gets ingrained into you. Uh, Disney is the happiest place on earth. 
Uh, anyone who's traveled to Florida, if you've been to Publix, the grocery store, shopping's a pleasure. And uh, there's also Chick-fil-A in the South, where it's our pleasure to serve you. <laughs> so I recently uh, ended up getting a job for Chick-fil-A here in uh, the Twin Cities. I'm the Director of Communications and Marketing here on the western side of the city for Chick-fil-A. Um, most of the time you'll see me uh, sitting in the uh, dining area of the Chick-fil-A off Highway 7 just down the road and I'll be sitting on my computer there and, and working. Uh, and that's kind of been a great opportunity for me because it's a company that I, I do enjoy working for. Um, I, like, I like the way everything is run, I like the food, and it works out well. Um, I also recently became the Director of Marketing for the Young Professionals Group here in uh, the Twin Cities. Um, I got involved with them uh, about the time I got involved with Rotary up here, just trying to connect and get to know different people in the area. Um, and then finally, uh, I'd like to kind of end up on telling you a little bit about why I joined Rotary, so we can skip that question. Um, one of the reasons I joined Rotary is I've had this experience throughout my life of giving back. And the joy that that, that can bring you is, is more than you'll ever find you know, doing something for yourself. Um, I, I like to volunteer, I like to give my time, and I don't necessarily know where and how to do that um, in certain instances. So what I do, or what I did, was join Rotary. I know that there's a lot of volunteer opportunities here, and uh, the sign-up sheet gets passed around, and you can kind of pick and choose when you're available and find your time to give back. And so that's why I joined Rotary, and I'm happy to, to be here. And if there's anything else you guys would like to know, I'd love to grab a coffee with any of you and, and sit down and talk to you more. Thank you.